is how much we support each other. I've I've connected with many of the brothers in in, in the crowd, and I've only been in the land for three years, and they showed me nothing but love and support. But everything that we surround that energy around is because we know who we are. We know where we came from. We know the power. It's hard to convince someone who doesn't know who they are the power they have, ain't it? It's like beating your head against the wall. But when we get together, when we start to understand like-minded individuals coming together, building, putting brick on top of brick, that's a beautiful thing. So this last piece I'm gonna do for y'all is called Grand Rising. See, this is that Grand Rising thing. This is that crown on your head, stones around your neck, in and around your bed thing. This is that unapologetically black, I said what I said thing. This is that tell it like it is, call a spade a spade no matter what they say to you. This is that knick-knack, paddywhack, give a dog a bone, party <laughs> 2000, zero, zero, party, oops, I'm feeling fine, my bacon smelling fine. See, they call it fake conscious. But we just shining light on the avenue as you passing through. And imagine you could tap into the mind of a child and rewind the time to erase the drama from gener generational trauma. And imagine you would step into a kid, maybe 12 or 13, you started rapping to, bust a couple jokes and he laughing too. Give him a little game like, excuse me, young man, what's your name? Just call me Uncle Poe. You know, I see a lot of me in you. You know, this life comes with ups and downs like a roller coaster, twists and turns too. But that's cool, because you can learn from both the two. Like how every time life presents to you an obstacle, it's an opportunity to be great, to endure, or to simply push through. Because sometimes the lesson is in the blessing. Sometimes the blessing is, is the lesson. So never get caught up on regret. See, in this life, every man has to make a choice. And one day you will too. And one day you will too. Don't be driven off anything emotional, but rather you gotta move off principle. <laughs> but rather you gotta move off principle. Now, if, <laughs> rather you, sorry, kids messing me up. <laughs> but rather you gotta move off principle. Now, what you put out, you get back. Respect the man, not the suit. Keep it 100 and you'll get that back too. See, beware of the fake snakes and backstabbers, but you'll have to meet a few just to know what they look like up close and personal. Now, this is just rehearsal too, because I'm practicing for the field, because I don't got to convince anyone how shit get real, and little man got to make it home still. So apply the knowledge and turn it into power. See, being conscious is just being aware of the things that matter and the things that distract us. But let me back up, because this that grand rise and shit. This that tell it like it is, call a spade a spade shit. See, black man, black man. Yeah, that's me. I was raised in the land of our captivity. Broken backs, buck breaking tactics that lasted way past the middle passage into the backyards of the forgotten past. And read these roots, tell the stories you can never see through rose colored glasses. See kids mature in traumatic fashion as the lashes linger from generational flashes of the madness that happened. And the second you take foot to the pavement, your life is in danger. Only the strong survive in this world hell bent on doing this dirty. Look, mama, I made it to 30. I'm alive. It's a small victories we count like no felonies, no baby mamas, good head on my shoulders, and I still got that ambition in my eyes. So speaking of black lives, let's not fail to mention the failed attempts at making us feel good. But let's address the educational system that teaches little black boys and girls the wrong worldview and doesn't come close to giving a glimpse of their true history. And that one's personal. See, it's a, it's a, it's a misappropriation of funds. Take the money from the cops and give it to the schools. It's really that simple. We could do the, uh, undo the effects of redlining. See, we could get into that next. The key to wealth is ownership and being self-sufficient, building schools and homes for our own. That's the mission. Now, where the riots and rallies rewrite history, or will we get down to the bottomless corruption and hypocrisy? Find out next time on the episode of We Deserve Our Own Nation. Patience. Rome wasn't built in a day. But stay tuned. There's still a lot left to say. Uh, real quick, I want to thank y'all for having me. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you for receiving me. Uh, I do have a book for sale. I just published my book, Spiritual Warfare, Inspiration of a Nation. Uh, you can find this going to be, check out all the vending tables, but especially my brother Ken Wado and my sister Shelly Amasette. Check out the table, you'll be able to purchase a book. 
uh, it basically goes into the spoken word and essays, it's a compilation of both that talks about what we need and what we gotta go through uh, in, in today's culture and this European culture. So I appreciate y'all, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, underscore poetics, that's underscore P-O-E-T-I-X, and on Facebook, it's Poet X-I. Again, thank you for having me, appreciate the UNIA, thank you Brother Harper. Put your hands together for Poetics.